Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Legoland, Florida, near Orlando. This is the first park of the Orlando trip. Look who I have here. My beloved parents are joining me today. And um, so basically what, how this happened is my friend Alex from Throttle Rides, who's a SoCal enthusiast, got us free tickets here because he works at Legoland California. So he said like, if you ever need free tickets to any of the Legolands, let me know. And I was like, hey, we'll be by Legoland of Florida when we're in Orlando. So why not try to go? So I'm here today. There's four credits to get here. There's the first Gravity Group Coaster Source, which will be interesting. Not very extreme, but it's a nice credit to have if it's open. I hope it's open. And then there's a couple of other rides that are basically the exact same as what they have at Legoland California. But this will be fun because I was just at Legoland California not too long ago. And so to go to its sister park here in Florida is going to be a great time. The weather is amazing so far and so I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun today. That said, we only do have like two and a half, three hours before the rain showers start coming in. So we have to hurry and get all these credits in. So I'm going to go straight to it. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Should be a short one, but still a pretty fun one. So let's get right into it. We just got off of Coaster Soros, credit number 256. Believe it or not, fun fact, this was the first Gravity Group slash Martin and Flemix, I think that's how you pronounce it, wooden coaster ever built. It's a really small project, but hey, it's a fun little ride. It doesn't really give any airtime or laterals though, but it's fine, you know, I enjoyed it for what it was worth. And above all, I'm just happy I got the credit and I'm happy it's open and everything because I do know a lot of people that actually do come here and it's not open. Or maybe I'm just uneducated, I don't know, but I'm just glad I got it in general. That's, that's a fun little ride. We're gonna head to Dragon now, a ride that we have a similar version at Legoland California. So that'll be fun to get on. And I know Hugh back there really loves it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna really enjoy his reaction. Guess what we just rode? We rode his number one coaster. Yeah. Hugh Rothman. What do you think? Yeah, I didn't I didn't I don't have to feel like I'm gonna vomit, so that's always a plus. That's a that's an issue with a lot of coasters. So <laughs> it's a good thing that he doesn't have to. With with him, yes, not with me. I'm good. I'm an enthusiast. Thuzy. Uh, it was fine. It was fun. I, I mean, it's fine. You know, like I can't say too much about it. It's just like a family ride, if not a kid's ride. Has that little dark red portion, then you have the actual track layout. I think I do like the California one a bit more because the actual layout on that, like the track layout was a bit different. And I think that was a bit more intense maybe. This one was kind of your typical Vacoma family coaster once you got past the dark ride stuff. Either way, I'm gonna head to the Wild Mouse um, Technic Coaster, I believe it's called. Pretty successful so far. The weather's been surprisingly great considering Florida in the summertime. And we've gotten on the two coasters here that I desire to ride the most. Next, there's a Wild Mouse and then a pretty awful Vacoma Hang and Bang I hear. So we're gonna get those two credits, move on to the dark rides because the dark rides will not close down when the rain comes, which yes, I think I mentioned this earlier, but the rain will come in a bit, but we're doing pretty good so far. I'm happy about it. Technic coaster was fine. It was a pretty ordinary wild mouse. Not my favorite wild mouse. It trimmed a lot, unfortunately. The California one does not trim as much as that one did. But it was fine, and I'm glad I got the credit. And nice these guys view. rode. Yeah. Oh my God, the view was amazing. That was probably my favorite thing about the ride. I was actually crazy for that view. That was really beautiful. First and drop I, was all right. First drop was all right. Yeah, I, I, I actually agree with that. The one big drop on those wild mice uh, by mock rides are actually pretty solid. The, again, like the California ones also had that, and that was fun on that one too. 
So now I'm saving the best credit for last, flying school. This is supposed to be really rough, and so I'm not really sure what to expect. That said, it's a clone of other rides I've been on before, so maybe it won't be as bad as I think it will. I mean, granted, it's, it's tame, so like it's, I'm probably not gonna have a high opinion on it regardless, but let's see, let's see what happens. Some terrible operations there on the Vacoma Hang and Bang, but in their defense, there wasn't a lot of people in the station, so there wasn't really a high demand. On that note, I rode the Vacoma, um, and it was fine. It's not as bad as people say. I think it's like the exact same as Silver Streak at Canada's Wonderland, and also Bat at Lagoon, if you've ridden either of those, and this is the same ride. As with those rides, I've never found these to be like detrimentally bad. They definitely aren't good either. I wouldn't make it a point to ride it more than one time. Just do it for the credit and then move on. But people that say like it's one of the bottom 10 coasters in the world. Yeah, I don't know about that. Anywho, we're going to move on to Ninjago, a dark ride that I really enjoyed in California. So we're going to try it out, see how it is here. It's also going to be my parents' first time on it. Where are they? Way back there. Uh, it's going to be their first time on it. So I hope they enjoy the technology where you can shoot out of your hands. That's pretty cool stuff. It's not something you see on a lot of dark rides, but overall, by the way, it got all four credits before the storms came in, which is great news. And as I just talked about, it looks like we're going to have enough time to do the dark rides and check out the garden that this place is known for. Overall, it's a really pretty park, really green. Uh, it, I mean, it's in Florida, it better be green. With how much rain this place gets, like I'd be concerned if it wasn't. Anyways, here we go. Here's the entrance. So should be a fun time. I'm going to let you guys know how the dark ride is, see if it's as good as the one in California. So we got off of the Ninjago ride. It's the exact same as the California one, literally the exact same. And I still like it pretty much equally. Um, I'd say it's the best ride here, slightly above uh, Coaster Source and Dragon, which are about tied for me in terms of coasters. It's a pretty good ride. Um, I, I like the mechanics, how you get to shoot with your hands. That is pretty unique, but it's a pretty good ride. Um, I enjoyed it for what it was worth again. Like I, I can't be too harsh on a lot of the rides here. Next up, we're gonna find Granny's Apple Fries, wherever they are. Uh, I got these at Legoland California and said it was the best attraction there. So I'm excited to see what my parents think of the Apple Fries, because really they are that amazing. They are really good. The only thing is I don't actually know where they are in this specific park. In the California one, they were near Dragon. Here they are not, so I'm not so sure. This stuff is the bomb. Did you like it? Yeah, it was yummy. It just needed that chocolate caramel sauce. Just kidding. It did not need that. <laughs> it's enough. Once again, those apple fries are a 20 out of 10. Best thing that you can do here at Legoland. It's, it's that good. It's amazing. We just got done with Cypress Gardens, which is really cool because before this park was even Legoland, the gardens were just there. So the fact that it's here is pretty amazing and it has nothing to do with Legos, obviously, but you know, it, it's cool that this it's there. It's like a free admission thing. Anywho, next up, we are going to Emmett's Flying Theater in the Lego Movie World section of the park. And I'm looking forward to this because the Lego Movie World was still under construction when I went to Legoland, California like a month ago. And if you guys know me, you know I love flying theater. So I'm looking forward to this regardless of the theme and if it's a kid's ride or whatever. Should be a pretty enjoyable experience. Looking forward to it. Hey everyone, Emmett here. Please be aware that we are about to present the Triple Decker Flying Couch for the first time to an assembly of Master Builders. They may be unable to control your excitement. Fellow Master Builders, I present to you my latest invention, the Triple Decker Flying Couch. <laughs> Is everyone ready? Let the competition begin! Let's go! As you point out, this is my first time flying. Also, uh, this will be the first time the vehicle has been tested in flight, so there may be some new targets. Sorry! Sorry! Oh! You ever tried moving a couch? Try flying! So we are the couch, right? Sorry about that! Are we the couch? Let's try! Oh, scale that! <laughs> That's actually... Hey, we're flying! Beautiful! <laughs> the smells are 
are amazing. Oh my god. That is absolutely the best ride in the park. We just got off of the Flying Theater in Lego Movie World and that was excellent. That was like, they did such a good job with that ride. I will say it's not as good as Soren if we're comparing it to other Flying Theaters, but I think that's a given because Soren is literally one of my all time favorites for uh, sentimental reasons and also just because I love the ride a lot. But let's not compare, let's appreciate that for what it was because they did a really good job with that and I'm really glad that there's one in California now too. If I ever want to get back to Legoland California, then I have something to look forward to there. I just thought it was great. It was uh, it was quite hilarious. The pre-show was great. Emmett, Emmett really made the pre-show awesome. And then the ride, the smells were very evident, more evident than Soren, I'd even say. The movements were pretty great. I mean, you know, it's obviously not really moving, but it's just working with the screens. And I thought they did an excellent job executing all of that. So all things considered, yeah, that's absolutely the best ride in the park. And I would highly recommend that. That was great. But with that, I'm actually going to be wrapping it up because the thunderstorm, I know it doesn't look like it, but the thunderstorms are going to be coming in in about 30 minutes. And we got done with everything that we wanted to do. We even did that uh, other dark ride, the Pharaoh dark ride off camera, because why not, right? We got all four credits. We got on the three main dark rides. We got apple fries, as you can see right there. And we checked out the garden. So all things considered, like we got everything done and it was a great day. 
Once again, a huge thank you goes out to Alex from Throttle Rides for getting us the complimentary tickets. It's very much appreciated. He didn't have to do it, but his kindness led the way for this day to happen, and it's been a great time. And with that, all I have left to say is that I will see you guys tomorrow at Walt Disney World. I'm super excited about it. The weather's not going to be looking too good, but that's okay. We're still going to have a great time, make the best of their situation, and it's going to be a great time. And I look forward to vlogging and showing you guys around. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed once again. See you all in the next video. Bye, guys.